Using the thesaurus in communication and mass media complete is a good way to start your research to ensure that you find the best subject headings for the concepts you are researching. The thesaurus is a set of librarian created tags that describe what an article is about. We select the thesaurus link. We enter our search concepts cross-cultural communication in the browse box. And click the browse button. The thesaurus shows us the correct subject heading is intercultural communication, so we click on that link. We click the intercultural communication link again. A window opens displaying intercultural communication with other thesaurus terms. This is a good time to examine our term in the context of broader and narrower terms and see if it's the most suitable. We can also look at the related terms to see if any of them seem applicable to our topic. Checking the explode box searches intercultural communication plus any narrower terms, in this case culture shock, intergroup communication, etc. It gives us more results because it joins all the terms with OR. Explode appears only when a narrower heading appears under the heading we're searching. It's usually best not to check it for our first search. We decide that culture shock is the topic that we're interested in, so we click the title. Culture shock and its broader and related terms are listed. We decide to look at acculturation as well, so we click on it. We select acculturation as one of our search headings. We also choose culture shock. We join the terms with OR when we click the add button. This will search for articles containing either one of the terms, giving us more results. And search. The search box shows us our terms and how they are combined. This search gives us 181 results, so we decide to narrow it by going back to the thesaurus to browse for another term. We browse for international students. We select the correct term, students, foreign. We select the checkbox. Add it to our search. And search. This search gives us 138 hits, which we now want to combine with our previous search. To combine searches, we select the search history alerts link. We select the checkbox next to the search we want to combine and click the Add button. Note that we don't need to click S8 Students Foreign because it's already in the search box. We run our combined search. This gives us nine relevant hits. To view the results, we toggle shut Search History Alerts. This ends the Communication and Mass Media Complete Thesaurus tutorial. For more tutorials, go back to the menu.